So I'm in Ecuador, which is uh, in Latin America, between Peru and Colombia. I've been traveling Latin America for a couple of weeks now. And I've been asked to give my take on what's actually going on in the country over here, because obviously it's been in the news, uh, a lot happening, uh, particularly in relation to organized crime, narco gangs, etc. So basically, uh, the scenario is that uh, Ecuador is essentially or has been a trans shipment zone for the drug cartels. Um, Ecuador itself doesn't produce any narcotics but it's been assisting in the exportation of narcotics to the US and Europe. The gear itself is actually produced uh, mainly in Colombia and Peru. And so the, the center of attention for exportation has been Ecuador in recent years. This has been due to the collaboration of several narco gangs, including uh, uh, obviously the Colombians, uh, Peruvians, Ecuadorians, and the introduction of the Albanian gangs that have taken up an interest in the in the business. So over the last couple of weeks, a lot has actually happened here in Ecuador. It's been on the news. Uh, one of the main drug lords, uh, known as uh, or his street name is Fito, escaped. Jose Adolfo Macias is his real name. He escaped on January the 7th. Um, it now seems likely that he was uh, facilitated by um, corrupt prison officials, although the exact details aren't known. But he's been living a, a sort of life of luxury, really, in, in the prison, such as it was. And uh, the situation's changed because of the, the arrival of the new president of um, Ecuador, Daniel Naboa who's only 36, he happens to be the uh, the son of the richest person, the richest man in, in Ecuador, in the banana business. So he's basically a new broom that's, that's come in uh, in recent months to try and, with, on a mission really, to sort of clean up the country. And obviously he's getting a bit of a reaction from the narco gangs. So two days after uh, Fito escaped, the gangs stormed one of the TV stations over here open fire, threatened to execute people, set bombs off in the street, which then led to the government bringing in a state of emergency two days later on January the 9th. The state of emergency is basically a curfew between midnight and 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, I've, I've been walking the streets here. I mean, at the moment, I'm down by the Amazon, but I've been to Quito, the capital, and been walking the streets. Everything seems calm during the day. You see uh, the usual police patrols backed up by army patrols. Um, but as I say, between 12 midnight and 5 a.m. there's a curfew, so the streets are, are pretty much deserted. So the objective of the new president is really to sort of uh, totally clean up the country. Um, but obviously there's a, there's a lot of money in this narco business and uh, the gangs aren't going to back down.